Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and we receive a lot of questions from you, and a lot of those questions turn into a segment that we, uh, we video here. So what I want to share with you now is uh, some of the questions, and I'll answer them by demonstrating. Now, the question that comes up frequently is called the technique that we use for dabbing. And you'll see almost all the welding that I do is the dab technique. It's not the only technique though. And I just want to explain to you that dabbing is a, a very good general technique. It's good for general fabrication and it's almost exclusive to uh, all aerospace. Every once in a while you'll hear somebody talk about a second pass, like a root pass and then a second pass and it may have weaving to it. So we're going to demonstrate that weaving, why and when you would use it. And then third and finally, we get the question about walking the cup. When would you walk the cup? Because I do get that question an awful lot. And I got to tell you that walking the club, cup is a little more exclusive to pipe welding, uh, for example. Pipe welding, you're going to find that there's big pipes that are mismatched and they've got a V groove. Sometimes they're gapped. In fact, they're gapped very wide. They also have mismatch to them. So this is a technique where you, you hold the torch totally different. And what I want to explain to you in this segment is that you will rarely use the walking cup unless you're in that field. So let's get started. I'm going to get my gear on, and I'm going to talk about the dabbing technique, and I'm going to demonstrate it to you. So see you shortly. Okay, I've got arc initiation. I'm just going to ramp up. With a foot pedal, I got amps up to, I don't know, probably 100 plus, and I can see the puddle, and I'm just going to dab at the base of the puddle. There's no time frame for this. Just get a nice, nice rhythm, just a dab, 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 and, and I'm on steel, so it's kind of hard to screw up steel. So dab, dab, and I've got a 332 diameter tungsten. I'm using a, an ERADS D2 filler, about 045 diameter. So once you learn this technique, get a nice smooth travel speed. Dab, 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 dab. And of course when you get to the end of your weld, I'm going to terminate the weld here shortly. When you terminate your weld, add a little extra dab and then back off on your foot pedal very, very slowly. Sometimes you can circle, and sometimes you can end your weld over at the side of the weld as opposed to the middle. Okay, and then I just back off, hold my torch there. Yeah, so uh, I've, I've got a, a, a weld that's got a little bit of filler into it. It doesn't have a lot of buildup. The whole purpose behind this really is just to get a technique going. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to, I'm going to set a, a, a weld sample. This is a lap weld. I use the same technique. I'll just start the weld, see the puddle, dab, 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 dab. Now this will be intended just for a one pass fill. So uh, let, me change, uh, let me change tungsten, get a clean tungsten, get some filler, and uh, I'll do this again. Okay, now we have a lap weld. And in the lap weld, you let the top side of this lap weld melt down a little bit. Then you start adding your filler material. So again, I'm just using the dab technique, the same one that we just learned. So it's just dab, 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 and it fills it. And in this particular case, the material is oh I don't know maybe a quarter inch thick but I'm getting plenty of fill and again steel is so forgiving and you can watch the liquid puddle start from the top drop down let gravity work to your favor and just keep the dabbing technique going and pretty soon you'll have a complete weld again no hurry I get to the end of my weld I'm going to back off on amperage Okay, so I have a lap weld or, you know, quasi a fillet weld. Uh, 
And again, in steel, sometimes you can melt it to itself and get a pretty decent weld. But I always like to add filler because it, it adds thickness to the throat of the weld, which also adds strength. So in this particular case, all I did was one pass using the dab technique, adding filler. My tungsten was 332 in diameter, got a point on it, and the point's very much like a, a pencil. Uh, if you sharpen a pencil, you get a nice little a point on it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm only welding at about 100, 115 amps, just, just to show you that you can do this. Very low amperage, very good control, and um, anyway, the dab technique. So we're going to move on, and, and this is a, a three-part series. Uh, this one is one pass only using filler material. So uh, watch for the, uh, the next two series, and I want to thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. To stay up with the latest TIG welding technology and education, subscribe by clicking the button below.